All right, so this section is about um, 8.1, which is functions and their representation. So functions. So functions. So function, the definition of functions is for every x input there is only one unique y output. Okay, so basically we have a box, okay, and we consider that this box is the input and we then take the input into this function, just call it a function, and the function name is f, okay, then we will get an output, <coughs> and let's say it's a circle, okay, and the output is y, which we now call f of x. Okay, and so this is the function setup. We have an input that goes in and an output. Okay, and so it's important to understand that y equal to f of x um, mean the same thing. These are the same, but just that now we all say y this way because it's identifying that this is a function. Okay, it's a unique it's a unique equation because it's a function. Okay, so that's important to have it clear in your head. Okay, so for example, if we look at a table, let's say we looked at a table here, and we'll call this x, but now we call this f of x, not the y, even though that's what it is, but it's unique. If I have, let's say, numbers like one, two. Three, four, right? <coughs> and my outputs were uh, three, two, four, six. Is this a function? Well, this one is only making a three. This two is only making a two. This three is only making a four. And this four is only making a six. So, yes, this is a function. Um, let's look at a different table. Let's say we have the same numbers, one, two, three, four, okay? And the outputs <coughs> were, uh, let's say, uh, one, 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 one. Is this a function? So is this a function? Oops, let's back it up. Is this a function? So the one is only making a one, a two is only making a one, a three is making only a one, and a four is only making a one. So every input that's being inputted is getting a unique y output. Yes, it's true that the one is going for all of these. But the one, it's what's in crucial, is that it also is producing a one. So if I added one more number, let's say it was, was a one, and I said that, hey, uh, the output this time now is a two, is this a function? Well, now it's not a function because the same one here and here, this is the same one, okay, is producing two different y outputs. That's what's making it not a function. It doesn't matter about these ones here. It's whenever you see an x repeat itself. If it's another number, it's the same number repeating, then it better have the same. And so this one, no, is not a function. So not, not a function. Okay. So let's look at some more tables. <coughs> let's say we look at. Uh, x and f of x, and we have negative 2, uh, negative 7, uh, 5, uh, 
6 and negative 7. And I say that the numbers are 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Is this a function? Is this a function? Well, I see that the negative 7 is repeating. So it's repeating down here. So do the y values, are they the same? Well, no, they're not the same. Since they're not the same, this is not a function. So the rule is, if you see an x repeating itself, then it better have the same y output. Like, let's make one that is a function. Let's say that you have f of x, and let's say it's the same numbers, negative 2, negative 7, uh, 5, uh, 6, and, <coughs> and negative 7. If I said it was 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I said this was 4, is this a function? Well, yes, it is a function. Because when the seven, negative 7 repeated here, it also had the same y value. So it's the same. And it's the same. So when they're the same outputs, then you have a function. They have to be the same. Okay? And that's truly important. Okay?